What if one day we discovered an asteroid on a direct collision course with Earth? For the first time in history, NASA has launched spacecraft to test if humanity could survive such a threat. One slammed into an asteroid to push it off its orbit. Another brought back pieces of a cosmic rock and is now on its way to meet one of the most dangerous objects in the solar system, Apophis. This is the story of how we might learn to defend our planet before it's too late. Asteroids have always been Earth's silent companions. Fragments of rock left over from the dawn of the solar system, most drift harmlessly through space. But every so often, one crosses our planet's path. 66 million years ago, a rock just 10 kilometers wide slammed into what is now Mexico. In a matter of hours, it erased the dinosaurs from existence and reshaped life on Earth forever. The scar it left, the Chicxulub crater, is a reminder of how fragile our world really is. But a killer asteroid doesn't have to be that big. In 1908, an object only 50 meters across exploded above Tunguska in Siberia. The blast flattened 80 million trees and released more energy than the largest nuclear bomb ever built. In 2013, another rock, just 20 meters wide, streaked across the sky above Chelyabinsk in Russia. It shattered thousands of windows and injured over a thousand people. These events show that even relatively small objects can unleash devastating power, and they are far more common than the giants that cause mass extinctions. For most of human history, we had no defense. All we could do was hope the sky would stay quiet, until recently. For decades, the idea of defending Earth from asteroids existed only in science fiction. That changed in September 2022, when NASA launched the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART. Its target was Dimorphos, a tiny moonlet orbiting the larger asteroid Didymos. Barely 160 meters across, Dimorphos posed no danger to Earth, but it was the perfect test case. On the night of September 26, millions watched as DART raced toward its target at over 24,000 kilometers per hour. In the final minutes, the spacecraft's camera sent back live images, the surface of Dimorphos growing larger with every second and then silence. Dart struck the asteroid head on, destroying itself instantly. But the impact changed Dimorphos' orbit by more than 30 minutes, far greater than scientists had dared to hope. For the first time in history, humanity had proven that it could alter the path of a celestial body. It was only a small nudge, but enough to show that asteroid deflection was no longer fantasy. Yet to truly defend ourselves, we would need to understand these space rocks in far greater detail. That's where another spacecraft came in, OSIRISREX. OSIRIS-REx became NASA's very first mission designed to bring back samples from an asteroid. The spacecraft lifted off in September 2016, heading toward the near-Earth world Bennu. By late 2018, it had arrived, circling the asteroid for almost two years, charting its rough surface, and preparing to achieve its main goal. On October 20th, 2020, the probe descended toward a small crater in Bennu's northern region. Navigating between sharp rocks and massive boulders, it extended its robotic arm, sinking into the loose soil. In that brief touch, it stirred up tons of rubble while securing roughly 250 grams of pristine asteroid material. After sealing its precious cargo inside the return capsule, OSIRIS-REx departed Bennu in May, 2021. It began a 1.2 billion mile trek back toward Earth, adjusting course with a series of gentle engine burns. Two years and four months later, the spacecraft was once again nearing the planet from which it launched. On September 24th, the craft will pass just 63,000 miles from Earth. At 4.42 a.m. Mountain Time, it will awaken systems and eject its sample capsule on a precise release path. The capsule has to be released within a tight window and aim perfectly to land inside a 250 square mile zone in Utah's western desert. After separation, OSIRISREX will ignite its thrusters to ensure it steers clear of Earth. At 8.42 a.m., the capsule slams into the atmosphere, traveling nearly 27,000 miles per hour. Blazing over the western United States, it will flare brightly with heat, giving ground-based sensors a chance to follow its fiery path. Plunging deeper, the capsule slows violently, exposing the Bennu samples to forces of nearly 32 Gs. 
Roughly two minutes after entry, it drops to Mach 1.4 and releases a drogue chute, steadying its fall. By 8.46 a.m., the capsule passes into restricted airspace, 10 miles above the Utah Test and Training Range. Radar stations will acquire it and trace its course to within just 30 feet of the target zone. At 8.50 a.m., one mile above the ground, the main parachute unfurls. The capsule drifts downward at only 11 miles per hour, like a runner savoring the last lap, before settling into the desert at 8.55. Once recovery teams secure the capsule, the Bennu samples head to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. There, inside the Astro Materials facility, the container will be opened and the material cataloged, shared, and analyzed for generations. After releasing its treasure, O-S-I-R-I-S-R-E-X will leave Earth behind. But its mission is not over. In a bold second act, it takes the new name Osiris Apex and swings into a stretched orbit of the Sun, dipping inside Venus's path and testing its limits. By 2029, it will intercept Apophis, a 1,200-foot asteroid set for an extraordinarily close pass by Earth. 13 years in space, a new decade begins. One spacecraft, a new world. The mission goes on. Humanity's work with asteroids is only just beginning. Osiris Apex will meet Apophis in 2029, but it won't be the last. NASA's Psyche mission, ES's Hera probe, and future explorers will continue to unlock secrets from these small but powerful worlds. Each rock holds clues to Earth's past, and perhaps the key to protecting its future. The story of asteroids is far from over, and neither is our journey. Subscribe to Zovian and join us for the next chapter Among the Stars.